Our next game is a game um, that we backed on Kickstarter. Yeah. Um, which that is you backed that on I, I work, Okay, I'll clarify. I backed on Kickstarter. It yeah. is a game by Joseph Shaw and it's called The Rules of Everything. Um, I'm not sure if this game will make it to retail, but um, or if it is going to retail, I haven't read anything about it. But um, I picked up this game because we have a group of friends that are very much into the games like Throw Throw Burrito or Exploding Kittens or yeah. Muffin Time. They yeah. absolutely love Muffin Time. And, you know, these are the types of games that probably aren't in our normal wheelhouse. And they're not games that Maggie and I would ever play kind of on it by ourselves yeah. um, not that they usually play a small number of people mm. but the rules of everything is another party game in that genre mm. uh, that plays three to eight players so you can actually get a lot of people playing this game and it's in this tiny little box it's like quite compact and the objective of this game is to get 10 points um, which are these little ticket cards and then to draw the golden ticket so as long as you have 10 points and you are the person who draws one of those tickets, you're going to win the game. But the rules of everything places rules on you that you have to follow throughout the entire course of the game. And these are absolutely ridiculous. So mm. on your turn, you are simply going to be drawing a card from the top of the pile, which is always going to be either one of those golden tickets or a rule card. And the rule cards are going to be um, they're very thematic. They I are. think they're extremely thematic. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Yes. So it'll be like, I'll read some off the back. So it's like the rule of drinking tea. The hand holding this card must have the little finger sticking out at all times. And so some of the cards are going to be down in front of you and other cards have a little symbol on them saying they have to stay in your hand. Mm. And so you will be holding this card forever um, <laughs> until you're unless able to you get want rid of it. To, unless you want to fold your cards. Uh, but when you fold your cards, you also lose all your points. Mm. Um, but if you want to try and get to 10 points, you need to be holding it with the pinky up. Mm. Then you might get another card that, that instructs you to hold the card in your hand and it always has to be touching your right shoulder. Mm -hmm. That makes it awkward because now you've got a card here and you're trying to hold one on your shoulder. Mm. Then there might be a card that makes you dance the entire time or to applaud people when they get a point. <laughs> yeah. And if you forget any of these rules and your fellow opponents call you out on it, mm. then you're going to take a penalty, um, usually by way of losing points. Yeah. And so, and when you can't pay the point penalty, you lose everything. So it's like, it's kind of this game of stacking. Well, there's like these stacking challenges mm. and it is hilarious. Like it is not a strategic not game. Not at all, yeah. It is a silly party game yeah. in the best of ways. It mm. makes people laugh. Um, mm. I could imagine it would be a good drinking game. And But we were having, like we weren't drinking when we were no. playing this and no one was. was and it was just yeah. so much fun. There was so much laughter. Like one of them required our friends to make sound effects every time someone drew from the deck otherwise yeah. they would get a penalty yeah and you're just constantly watching everyone to make sure they're following all of their rules yeah and this is just one of those games where you know maggie's not a huge fan of party no, games. it's like i'll enjoy it for a little bit and like by by a little bit i mean like the first two minutes and then i'm like okay i am done i want to do something yeah of course and, and they're not meant to be these long strategic games mm. but this exact it delivered a hundred percent on the fun that I thought it would be when I read it on the Kickstarter. And mm. what more can you ask? So that is the rules of everything, the card game. This review was just a short little snippet from our series, Small Talk, which is on our YouTube channel, Thinkathema, which you can find at thinkathema.com or just look it up on YouTube, mm. where we do lots of board game reviews and we look at our top 10 crowdfunded Kickstarter campaigns every fortnight. So check that out if you enjoyed this review and we look forward to seeing you over our channel. Bye for now. Bye.